Uh, did you want to do anything in the capital truck? What the hell are you doing? Well, the, the only thing, I mean, I thought we would come in here to give the journal to somebody and find our druid buddy, or the druid who sent us to deal with the hobgoblins. I guess he didn't know they are hobgoblins at the time, but deal with that situation. I thought that's the reason we came here, so that's what I'd be looking to do. Okay, um, you can definitely turn the, uh, the journal over to the military without any difficulty. Um, finding a druid in the city might be challenging at best. As an elven city, Marathas is pretty spread out. Well, that's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> My Marathas document has all the other cities in the area, but it doesn't actually have the Marathas uh, nice. stats on it. I'm just wondering where I put those. Before I forget, Kylo, we got 23 potions of strength. Do you want like 10 of them? Yes. Good answer. Yeah, strength potions are awesome. They stack with your uh, rage. But a capital city has more than 50,000 residents in it, so finding a specific person, that was my reference to D.C. I was like, uh, it's hard to go into a city and say, hey, do you know so-and-so? How important slash well known is the druid we work with? Um, he would probably have a small amount of renown. Like if you found somebody who, uh, had uh, like lists of names and whatnot, uh, you could look him up for you. But no one's gonna, no one on the street or anything's gonna know random druid number five from town to the north who came to the capital. Yeah, I, I figured they'd have a grove or something. Yeah, there is a grove in the uh, in the capital. The entire city of Marathas is, uh, like most elven settlements, it's like a two-tiered uh, settlement where there's generally uh, businesses and homes on the, on the fourth floor and then also a tree level, sometimes multiple tree levels. So there would be groves all over the place. Um, it's really spread out. So even just going from uh, location to location is basically going from big tree to big tree. And the trees in the capital are hundreds of years old. So uh, many of them would take up more space than like a standard house. Mm. There haven't been trees cut down in this area for hundreds of years. That'll change if the hobgoblins win, or the bugbears. Uh, yeah, the the bugbears and the hobgoblins are already mowing the forest to the south down. When we want to hand over the book. I'm assuming this will be very appreciated by them. Can we use that to basically ask, hey, we work with this druid. We heard he enlisted. Is it possible you can tell us where we can find him? Uh, you could probably do that. You want to give me a diplomacy check? I can give you a check, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Not going to succeed, but I can do it. Yeah. He's like, uh, yeah, sure, I, I could look him up takes down his name and whatnot and uh, starts going through file folders and checking all of the uh, divine enlistees and he's like uh, yeah he's uh, down on the front lines with uh, with Colonel Lyons 
Oh. He's been down there for a couple of weeks now. So like around the spot? Yeah, Lyons is on the front line, so he's right uh, where the uh, road switches the two to, two four. Mm. That is also the area where the uh, what you call it uh, strike force went missing. So I guess I'll look at. Chuck, then. I guess we have a choice. We can either enlist, join him naturally, or go there, rogue agents. And I feel like if he's enlisted on the front lines, this is where we should be, too. I doubt he would say no if even he's joining the front. I mean, yeah, we gave the book. I mean, meeting up with him would be great, but... That's not necessary, unless there was a reason we needed to meet up with him. I think it's just because he's like the one in charge of our Grove slash branch, right? Like military-wise, we'd have our own command, but I guess living-wise, religiously-wise, he would be our leader. Is that a fair statement? Um, depending upon the military organization, um, could be a few options. The likely outcome in this situation is that you would be part of a section that would be sent down to join the forces, so you wouldn't necessarily be aligned with anyone. You would just have a commanding officer you report to when you get there. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure what this druid was to us exactly. If he's like uh, like a, a church your, pastor or... To you, he would be your uh, senior. Okay. Hang on, I'll look it up. So he would be He's an initiate of the third circle, um, which is basically the equivalent of being like a minister, step above being a cleric. Oh, um, okay. So he he's basically in charge of very common things like weddings and confirmations and funerals and day to day uh, clerical and clerical things. So for this situation yeah he would just be the guy you report to when you do your patrols as a ranger and um just be the like hub for information and obviously he's your superior in the uh druidic order okay but the guy yeah. the guy you met in the grove is just like an acolyte like he was nobody okay that works. So, yeah, I think after seeing everything, Artemis is for joining. I do have one question. On our way here from Satai Quest, it was about a week, it looks like. Um, oh, I guess. It was only a couple of days. I think it oh. took you like a day and a half to get to the middle point and another day and a half to get down. Oh, cool. Okay. Then, how is the, I guess, I'm just going to, for lack of a better way to phrase it, the hate attacks on the goblins? Because they had a lot of refugees and whatnot in these towns, if I remember. Not a lot, a lot, but still a significant number. Uh, yeah, they were run out of town. Not so much hate attacks as, you're not getting anything here, get out of our town. Okay, that's fair enough. Just curious. How's Kylo feel as we find him and explain the situation? Uh, I'm ready to kill. 
Fair. Since no one will make my good weapon. <laughs> no one will do what to your good weapon? No one will make my good weapon. I'm sending a letter to Satai Quest. Do you want to piggyback off that, see if they can enchant and ship it down? There's probably several caravans back and forth. Yeah, I mean, so it has to go down, ask, come back, send the sword down, get enchanted, come back. Yes. Um, I could try to do an insight, couldn't I, to, to try to see if they would be able to do it? Sure. Nice. Okay, the only significant spellcaster you know of in Sutaiquist is uh, Dinar, I think his name was. And uh, he probably isn't high enough level to do all the things you want to do. All right. Assuming he even has the skills. Yeah, I'll just have to keep looking around the capitals. I've got to find someone. Yeah, and I mean, if you rank up high enough, you'll probably find a smither that's willing to do a few a favor. It's not the smither. I need someone, magic person, to enchant it. Fair. I wish you luck. Yeah, but I got the sword for now, so we're good. Okay. Okay, so are you guys uh, enlisting at that point? I think so. How do you feel, uh, Chuck? Yep, I think that's what we planned on doing. Wonderful. Yes, we will enlist. Okay, well, after a short interview, um, you guys are all accepted to the Academy. Um, after the first day of uh, basic training, uh, Kilo and uh, Artemis, you guys are fast-tracked to the next level. Um, Chuck, uh, your... Uh, Superiors are absolutely appalled that you're a cleric of Corallon and you don't know how to use a bow. And or am not an elf. Um, they find that a little disturbing and weird, but being a cleric of Corallon pretty much means you should use a bow. So they're like, uh, how did you survive all this time without learning to use a bow? Because it would take an extra feat. That is true. <laughs> it's just very common for uh, elves to yeah. learn it as part well, of their that, training. El elves just get it naturally. Yep. It's just a foreign concept to them that you didn't learn no, to use. That's fair. I was not raised like them. Okay. He spent all his time outside the city just staring at people to try and get acceptance rather than shooting the bow at people. Shooting the bow at people to get acceptance? That, maybe he could have, you know. If he hit people square on the back of the head, you know, people might have respected that. They might have. But really, in character, I'd just be like, ah... Learning to use a bow is a waste of my talents, and then I would just like blast a target with uh, magic. Interesting. And 
And how far can you do that? 60 feet right now. But if we're going to war, I'm thinking next level, it's time for 250. Okay. Well, I was going to have you train to use a shortbow, but um, if you're planning on heading in the direction of uh, the Eldritch Spear, I think it's called. Yeah, I mean, now that we're going to war, before we were in a forest hunting small things, 250 feet didn't seem necessary. But if if war's coming around, he's definitely going to be looking at that at next level. But the, he, they don't know that, and I guess technically neither would he. I'm just no, saying. No, but you can train towards increasing your range. That actually makes thematic sense in this situation. Okay, so that will be the primary uh, aspect of your training. Um, you're definitely a little... Um, ostracized uh during training but um after a while people start to warm up to you uh, most of the uh the divine spellcasters have been sent to the front lines to aid in uh, the war effort so very quickly it becomes obvious that everyone wants to be your friend because they want to be on your unit not on one of the units that doesn't have a divine spellcaster well, and I can heal during the training because there's always training mistakes. People get sprained ankles and stuff. Yep, for sure. Okay, um, Artemis, your training uh, obviously revolves around your exceptional bow skills and uh, all of your supervisors seem quite impressed with how nasty you are with a bow. And... Uh, you basically go from one training session each day to a new one the next day as they send you to somebody else because you're beyond this guy's skills and you're like in with a bunch of like kids like barely adult uh elves who are good with it good with a short bow but not very good with a long bow and you're like thunk, 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 thunk. next And uh, Kilo, uh, obviously, training uh, is very similar for you, but instead of being focused on uh, the bow, as soon as they realize how nasty you are with the court blade, um, they move you over with the blade singers and uh, work on your hand-to-hand uh, -hand skills. You get a crash course in uh, military leadership and command, and you guys basically enlist as privates because that's uh, your starting rank, and you just skip over the entire private chain to being corporals, and then you're skipped over that uh, to being sergeants. And by the end of your training, you are each assigned a section of elves. Oh. Ah, uh, it's pretty soon. This might be a good time for Tempest, then. This might be a good time for me to dig a new god. Who gives me stuff? I like stuff. stuff I do. Good. Yeah, Tempest um, does actually go really well with uh, Corlon. You know what? I, I'm I'm going to... I'm going to need someone to help me if I'm going to be leading a group of people. So, yeah, yeah, he, he's going to follow Tempus for guidance here. Okay. Max, for... I, can get, I can get behind Tempus. Have you maxed a coral on yet? Not even close. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Yes, I did. Um, once we factored in all of the changes. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I didn't actually update the document for the crits. I 
I went to do that, and then I just had other stuff to get to. Which is fine, because I'm at 46. Even if I drop 8, I lose the game protection bonus, the charisma, and I have zero charisma, so not a real loss there. I should get a cloak of charisma. It's on my list of to-do. Oh yeah, the hobgoblins alone from the camp put me up like three ranks. Shame I don't have a great charisma. Unfortunately, uh, going... go ahead. Uh, unfortunately, a good chunk of this war is bugbear, so it's not going to be as uh, productive as you'd hoped. Yeah, which is why I'm glad I already hit it. Um, if you want to go and listen, Tempest, I'll go with you. Uh, yeah, we'll go together. Just going to make a new table, so I'll fill it out later. I'm just going to start that. Exploiting another god? Exploiting? I'm gaining advice and, you know, consideration here. I would never exploit a god. But yes. But yes, I'm exploiting the god. Okay, when you guys are uh, finished, you uh, have a very basic uh, graduation ceremony, and you are introduced to your uh, sections of elves. Each of you have a dozen elves under your command, and when you meet them, they are like literally children. Are they at least older in age than Chuck? Um, they're 68, so it's fairly old. Okay. But they have, like, zero field experience. Honestly, I was expecting this when you talked about who was in my in first training category. Yeah, the, you are going through your training, and they're basically... Uh, recruiting anybody who can physically fill a slot on the front line. In fact, you can roll a sense motive check. All of us or just him? You can all roll it. It was just more pertinent to him. I got 10. Jack got a 30. Holy shit. Why is your sense of motive so insane? Well, I have plus seven from wisdom. Yeah. And I get a buff to it. Oh, um, okay. That from your warlock stuff? Yes. One thing you notice about the recruits is uh, while they're basically accepting uh, any adult male elves who are willing to serve, there are very few female elves. And uh, it doesn't really phase you at first because it's common for uh, male elves to be the, uh, the ones in combat situations. But uh as you progress through you realize they are segregating out the women unless they're absolutely sure you're good to go they're not sending females forward hmm. interesting all of the females who do wish to serve are being assigned to the capital That's very good to know for later. Later when uh, the females outnumber the men 10 to 1? Um, can I see if there are any skilled new recruits 
that I could probably poach then to my group. In what regard? Well, if they're very skilled and, you know, they're trying to hold them back, if I, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that they're, they're not wanted because they're looked down upon. So if I say I'd like them, I'm, I'm thinking they might just hand them over to get rid of them type of deal. If that made any sense. That makes a ton of sense. Um, unfortunately, uh, Chuck rolls really well on his check and Kylo did pretty well, too. Um, you get the impression the reason they're being kept back is because they're breeders. They don't want to send people forward oh. because they're expecting this to be a devastating war and they want to make sure as many women as possible survive it. Damn. So Chuck, this becomes completely obvious to you right out of the gate and Kylo, you're kind of looking around going, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So yeah, Chuck our just goal goes. is to survive this war and come back and join the breeding program. Wasn't that somebody's Chuck strategy? Agrees. <laughs> Wasn't that somebody's strategy in one of the games? Oh yeah, it was Jesse's strategy in uh, the Chaos game. Is that they were only taking virgins, so he was going to go around and deflower everyone. That does sound like his yeah. Yeah, they were only killing virgins, so virgins every month. So his plan is I seem to remember and they can't be good. I seem to remember Magnus wanting to participate in that uh policy. Any mm, damn. Okay. Well, I I, I gotta know. Uh j just because Artemis really doesn't want to lose anyone of significant talent. Is there any highly skilled archers being pulled into the breeding program? Into the breeding program? <laughs> Look, I, I'm just going to call it what it is at this point. Oh my god, that's harsh. No, they, the female recruits are just being held back in the capital. Yeah, no, just, you know, if we're going to the front lines, I want those archers on my side. <laughs> But fair, fair. Okay, I won't be greedy. Yes, the uh, the number of young women volunteering for service is very low, but there are a lot of like mature women uh, that have experience both as like hunters and um, even as soldiers that uh, are serving. A lot of them are being given positions um, as trainers, and a lot of them are being put on the city wall as they have been pulling the guards down and uh, replacing them with the uh, the females and sending the men to the front. Okay, fair enough. I just really like how Chuck just sees this happening. We're like, ah, eugenics. Nods his head and moves on. Well, actually, he he investigated it a little more than you because he was hoping there'd be females in his <laughs> in his group and thought that maybe they kept him back specifically because Chuck is Chuck. <laughs> and like they were avoiding him. So he actually investigated this and did some looking around. And Fair. Fair. It's just a sad th thought to have though. But okay. Uh, and you said 12 was it? Yes. Mm, okay. And then, of course, the irony is uh, one of the tokens that I'm using is actually a chick. Uh, all elves look the same. Yeah, I was just looking for something that fit my uh, general theme. I wanted each of them to be somewhat different, so I wanted to use a different token and a different image for each one. So that when you're using your troops in combat, you're not confusing them with each other. That's fair. Okay. Um... Quick question. Um, what knowledge check would be used for military stuff? History. Copy that. Are there any specific checks we need to do to like command the 
these people or anything like that, or is it just oral commands and they'll do their best type deal? Uh, yeah, you would learn your basic commands for marching and formations and whatnot in your training. Uh, okay. I'm not going to get overly into it. Um, once you're in the field, chaos ensues. Do whatever you want with your guys. Generally, Fair. they're going to be 100% uh, under your control, unless you're doing something suicidal or they're going to do something suicidal. Makes sense. Man, if only I had a good diplomacy, I could start on my own fervent cult here. Cult Get them all what? suicidal devotion to the state. They all will sacrifice everything for the survival of the kingdom. Oh. Just start to brainwash the soldiers, you know, that kind of thing. Don't worry, we're heading in that direction. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm good. Are the actually I'm not. Are these guys similar to us? Like uh I've got a lot of archers, Kylo's got a lot of the front lines, and Chuck has a lot of, I guess, archers. Or there's uh, like yes, an even you, mix. You have oh fuck, I forgot to label that one. Uh you have a uh whatchamacallit, uh, a unit of uh, a section of archers. Chuck has a section of ar archers, and um, Kilo has a section of infantry. Cool. Uh, of course, I copied all those tokens, and then it turns out I didn't even set them up. G awesome. Let's start over from scratch. Okay, so you guys meet with your uh, your sections. There's 12 guys assigned to each of you. You have any questions before you head out? Um, how's the gear that they have? Um, they have relatively good gear. The infantry have uh, masterwork studded leather, which is pretty high end for a private's uh, starting equipment. Um, and they have a longbow, just a traditional longbow, and a court blade, which is also a fairly significant um, item. Oh, okay. So from... A position of wealth, they have way more than a starting character would have. Yeah. Fair. Uh, the archers only have regular leather armor. Oh, that's the wrong one. Nope, that was the right one. I just didn't change the name at the top. I thought I did. But they have thin blades, which are pretty pricey, and uh, composite longbows. Okay. Very nice. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Did I do all that work and then not save it? Unbelievable. I think I saved over my archer. Oh. Like I, I finished the, I did the archers because I already had archers set up. And then I, when I was done, I wrote, put in save as infantry so I could use most of the stats and whatever again. But apparently I didn't save it before I ended it. So I, so I still got the basic one set up. That's fucking terrible. So speaking uh, of war, I always wanted to try a make a war chanter for a a war game or a game that was going to lead to war. Because I get, uh, I mean, granted, you'd be level like 15, 16 before you could use it, but they get uh, Inspire Legion, where everyone and every ally within 60 feet, you choose who has the best base attack and everyone gets that 
Shit. So you could take, like, all of our guys, put them in the same area, and then all of them get our... Yeah, and that's all with the multiple attacks, too. That, like, that could easily quadruple on Militia. Let's hope they don't have that. Yeah. Like I said, it's a pretty high level skill, though. Still? Well, if you're talking about something you have to be like 15th level to achieve, it's basically irrelevant. Once you're 15th level, wars aren't really a challenge for you. Oh, this so pisses me off. <laughs> Sorry. The thing that really, really, really pisses me off is I gave them different equipment and whatnot, so I can't even, like, cut and paste the old stats. Like, I... I, yeah. The, the prices on all the equipment and everything, and I just fucking wrote over it. You wrote over it as in you saved over it? Yeah, I made the Elven Archer. Uh, apparently I hit save after making like three minor changes. Probably what I did is I made a few minor changes and then saved it because it's a, another Elven character. And I was like, yeah, I'll just use this as a template and build on it. And then I saved it as the new document. And then when I was done, I was like, oh, this is perfect. Okay, I'm just going to make a copy of that. So I said save as, and I saved it as the first level infantry but I never saved it as the archer, and then I went through and changed everything on it to infantry. Um, I'm not sure what version of Word you're using, but for me at least, there's at the top, there's like a, the document name, last modified with a dropdown. There's a version history button. You might be able to look at it. Where is uh, last modified? Um, at the very top, like you see the... Like on the right side, you have the X, maximize, minimize. On the other side, or on the middle, depending on how it shows on your screen, um, you have like the save button, the undo, redo. And after that, there should be like the name of the document. Um, if you click on the name of the document, it should give you a drop down of the location, the file, and a version history, where you can look at your previous saved versions of this. Yeah, I don't have any of that. Oh. Even under my, uh... well, that's the thing is I didn't save it. Oh, okay. I was thinking if you saved over it. Uh, no, I no, saved no. It. I saved, I saved it as Elf Archer first. Then I edited the whole document and went, yeah, that looks great. Oh, got and it. then I hit save, uh, save as, and saved it as infantry. And on the same document, went through and changed everything. Normally what I, I do when I'm done is I close the document so I know that it's saved and reopen it later. But it's not the end of the world. Most of the stuff is fairly basic. But I went to read off all the cool stuff that they have and one of the things they have is a composite longbow plus two strength. And I was like, that's absolutely amazing. They don't have it. Plus two strength. Okay. That's what we like to see. Yeah, they have their plus, they have their highest score in uh, dexterity. That's a 15. And their second highest is in strength for the archers. Okay. We got to be responsible now. Why do you have to be responsible? Because we have kids on our journey now. And if we lose them, we lose affiliation points. I mean, that's not good. That was fucking perfect.
you got to keep the walking points. I mean, the kid's alive. Yeah, we'll see how that pans out. <laughs> the The first major battle was the most traumatic experience in Kenny's uh, D&D history with me. Mm. He went to all the effort to get to know all these guys on in his unit and blah, 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 blah. And they went into the first battle and just got fucking slaughtered. Oh, Jesus. And he, he had an amazing tactic. He had them all set up in this perfect formation. Everything was going really, really well. And then one guy in the formation fell, left a hole, and then everyone just rushed through that hole and slaughtered all his archers. Oh. That sucks. And he was the only one who was standing at the end of the fight. And he managed to stabilize the other player, Matt. And I think six or seven of the 24 guys they had with him. And he literally sat there waiting for Matt to recover enough hit points that he would regain consciousness so he could go to sleep because he was the only one alive. Jesus. It was a fucking bloodbath. Now, he did do it to himself because they went way too deep before they realized how deep they were. It's one of those, yeah, we'll sneak past this guy, and we'll sneak past this guy, and we'll ambush this guy, and oh shit, now there's 40 of them coming in the other direction. Uh. Okay, I think this is good enough to play out. Yeah, I don't know what. I must have done it in some weird order, because I've got point blank shot on here, and originally this one had focus longbow. So some of it did save and some of it didn't. So I must have done a couple of little things at the beginning. Improved weapon works with rapid shot. Uh, weapon specialization. I'm sorry, what? Does improved weapon specialization work with rapid shot in terms of getting the extra attack? Yeah, rapid shot just allows you to make one extra attack. Cool. Yeah, you can end up firing a fuck ton of arrows. And uh, many shot and shot on the run makes that super nasty. Shot on the run. I'll look at that. Allows you to move and attack at the same time. Oh. So you, it doesn't really do anything significant. Like It allows you to uh, move around a little more while you shoot one arrow, but once you have many shot, you can make all your attacks as a standard action and then use your move action to use your shot on the run. Fair enough. So you can move up, take your shot, and then move back to cover. Or you can move up, take all of your shots, and then move back to cover. And then stupid things like that. Like, I go to get the initiative uh, mods off of the infantry. I'm like, oh, yeah, they don't, they don't have a plus three deck. So I'll change that instead of taking it literally the stats from the other block and just move it over first. But no, I changed them first, and now i got to change it back. Ouch. Can't do anything the right way.
Okay, I think they're both good now. So I'll stick both of those in the uh, Discord for you guys. Ooh. Wrong game, but I'll take it. Uh, what's TV for them? Twin Blade. Archers have the Twin Blades, your guys have Cork Blades? Thin Blade and okay. Cork Blade. Yeah, it's probably just a cut and paste thing. As I said, I just cut, I literally used the same document, I just saved over it without saving it. That was the source of my frustration in the first place. How long did we... Um, oh, damn. How long did you what? Um, no, uh, I was thinking about the barding for... Um, but we just talked about armor and smith, so that'll be later. I'll have to find a smith to get the barding for uh, Nim. So I assume Chuck is going to take the entire section of women. His own personal harem. I feel like he would get the the anime it, nosebleed at the sheer it, thought of it. If I want to be killed in combat, yeah. Friendly fired in combat. Why would you be friendly fired in combat? Because after day one, all the women will want to kill me. Fair enough. The fuck are you doing to these women? Being a sexist pig. <laughs> Duh. And what I said, I would, I'd be constantly commenting on how they look and how pretty they are, and like being a general creep, not like, oh, you guys no. can't fight, but more the long lines of. Uh, Trying to get them all to sleep with me. And man, and what was the phrase? Mansplaining? You know, I think this would be good practice for you. Maybe you should be in charge of them. Well, as previously noted, there are no women. Just female-looking tokens. Yeah. And these guys have bows like me, so I'm going to go with them. Go to your... Oh, no, they have bows, too. I thought that was swords on the back. Yeah, I have infantry. I was like, what are you doing at mine? I saw bows, and I'm like, ah, bows. <laughs> I didn't look at their names. Yeah, unfortunately, it's really hard to find elves who don't have bows in their hands. Yeah. You can't really see it well on those tokens, but the uh, they've got like a giant uh, sword that looks like a court blade. Oh, yeah.
Okay, so your task is to march to the south. Um, I think it's a few days journey through the forest. Yeah, it's more than 50 miles, so it'll take you just over two days to march to the front line. That is where Colonel Lyons is stationed and where uh, the primary front is. Um, when you are looking at your official orders, um, the directions to them have been like struck out twice and changed. That's wonderful. So you guys start your march south. Uh, what was the last set say then? If they've been changed, the final set said what? Well, the the first one said follow the road to this this landmark, then to this landmark, and then back across here. And the camp is like 500 meters off the main road over there. And then the, that last pit, bit is scratched out. And it's like, yeah, this landmark, it's like 300 meters over here. And then that scratched out. And at this landmark, it's, it's uh, over here. It's about 100 meters off the road. Essentially, okay. they keep getting pushed back. Yeah, the, the base camp it keeps getting overrun. Okay. I just thought the scouts were incompetent. It's interesting to see the difference in how people interpret information like that. <laughs> yeah, just like, oh, they have no idea where the fuck this camp is. Yeah, they know exactly where the camp is. The camp just keeps moving on them. Okay, so you guys march down there and uh, meet with uh, Colonel Lyons. You can see that the majority of the base camp... Um, is uh dedicated to triage they have uh dozens and dozens of uh of elves that are basically laid out some of them conscious some of them not um uh, many of them gruesomely wounded mm. um there are several hundred elves stationed here, but uh, it seems to be mostly a defensive position. And they have basically nothing but tents at this point. They don't have any kind of fortification set up. Um, and that's pretty much the gist of it. You go and speak with uh, Colonel Lyons, and uh, he is... Uh, Happy to see you, and um, asked how your journey down was. Uneventful. What's the situation here? Well, we're struggling to hold our position. Um, we've been falling back uh, almost daily at this point. Um, just moving our triage area around has been the biggest uh, obstacle. But what I really need is someone who can get down and give me some idea of what we're dealing with and some information on how we can do a counter uh, strike instead of constantly being ambushed. Do you guys think you could get up front and uh, get me some detailed counts? We have some experience in that department. Chuck's already laid all his women down. Proud of you, Chuck. You might as well be on your backs. Wow. What a... Now I was trying to make a macro. It didn't work the way I wanted. 
Oh, the AI, I see. Do you have a plus sign there? I think that's why. What is that for? I was trying to do 12D20 plus 2 greater than enter their AC, and it'll tell me how many hit. Then just have to change a plus sign to the question mark, and you should be good. Uh... No, because it's going to still take 12D20 as one total roll. Uh, roll. Oh. Uh, roll. Yeah, you'd have to subtract the two from the greater than thing. Instead, like, yeah, you can't have the macro. Like, instead of doing greater than 10, you just have to do d20 greater than 8. Why are you doing 10 or 8? So the way it's doing, instead of plus... Two on the attack, you just do minus two to their AC. That way, you keep it a single D twenty roll. Oh, okay. So, like that one means I rolled high enough to hit. Uh, looks like you just need brackets in front of the whole yeah. question. Eh, I can figure it out later. It, I mean, that looks good. Oh, yeah, it does work. Okay. And then the 10 is just a m number you put in as their AC? Yeah. Yeah, whatever their AC is. That way I can do the 12 infantry shooting an arrow and go like, all right, three hit. Nice. I like that. I'm going to use that. Thank you. That's a good thing. Oh, spot. actually, uh, send it to me so I can use it. Yeah, make, uh, the, yeah. make the macro I need and send it to me. Yeah, I mean, sure. It's actually... got to recreate it. He's got it. Yeah, it's right there. It's just the brackets around the four, around whatever it is. So you can do the 12D, the open bracket, 12D20 plus two, end bracket, greater than question mark AC bar 10 and bracket and that should be the same thing like it's just the brackets you need around the expression role you want in front of the grader and it'll factor it in if that makes sense yeah and then you put the square brackets around that to just make it a block number yeah because like the six plus four greater than 10 works that's why it's three successes yeah that's pretty cool and then you just make that as a mod so that you can put in the the greater than part. How would you do the greater than part, though? How do you make that a mod? Uh, what? Uh, sorry, what? Well, you want it to be... Oh, uh, I see, yeah. They're a bonus, but you don't know what the AC is, so you want the AC to be a variable. Greater than mod question mark 10? Yeah, it would be this. Instead of the 10, you would just put this in, um, after the greater than, and then you'll put in the number. Oh, okay. What bar do we use for AC? It's bar 2, right? Bar 3. Okay. We got so off topic in this. I love it. Yeah, I can, like I said, I can figure it out later. Uh, I think you just need to put the roll symbol on it. Well, like I, the did the, I did the double brackets, so I don't do the roll part. But I think you need the mod in there. Not just the question mark. Yeah, I, I can copy and paste once I write it here real quick.
Oh, they do that. Okay. Did that work? Oh, I chose the wrong bar. And now your yeah. is complete. There we go. So you have it calling out a bar, or do you actually have to put it in the AC? I'm having it call the bar, since he always has his token selected with the AC there. So that's what I'm using. In Discord. Oh, I put the elf infantry in the uh, far realm here. You did, but that's fine. Yeah, but you can just get rid of the ad target. Yeah. And just make that a mod instead. And oh, I like I, it. That is a really cool one. Uh, it just means you have to click on your uh, target each time. Which I always forget to do. I thought that was so cool the first time I saw Jagat do that in The Lost Empire. I was like, oh, that's really cool. How do you do that? And I went through and I set up all my macros like that. And I was like, oh, this is so fucking annoying. And then each game <laughs> I went through and I removed them because it's like, I don't have time to click on this and this and this and then go click on the enemy. <laughs> I'll just say I'm attacking you, and you guys can interpret what that means. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, what was the thing to recall previous rolls again? It was the number sign. Push up, up arrow. Oh no, for his macros, you can recall. Oh, I have to, I have to look that up again. Uh, I think it was ampersand. Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up later. Uh, we're getting way too off topic, and I'm sure he wants to kill us. So before we die from check hands, we should go. I don't have any specific desire to kill you, but you are likely to die. Through no fault of mine. Of course. I bear you no real will. Never. But that basic macro is definitely going to make it a lot easier for archers to shoot at one target. Yeah, if they all target the same guy, that would be pretty nasty. Okay, so you guys can rest for the night and then in the morning uh, head out. 